winter, spring, summer, or fall. All we have to do is look at the trees to know. Then we'll see what season it is by the trees. In the winter, the trees are bare. In the spring, they get buds. In the summer, lots of leaves. And in the fall, they calm down. Winter, spring, summer, or fall. All we have to do is look at the trees to know. Then we'll see what season it is by the trees. Spring Plants by Julie Murray. Spring is here. The plants are blooming. Max enjoys the cherry blossoms. Eve sees the tulips. She likes the red ones. The magnolia tree is tall. It has flowers. Gabby sees the lilacs. She loves the smell. The iris plants are growing. They have purple flowers. The peonies have big flowers. Dan waters them. Alex sees the dogwood trees. They are full of color. What spring plants do you like? More spring plants, apricot tree, crocus, daffodil, grapefruit tree, glossary, blooming, producing flowers, enjoys, finds joy in. You have been listening to Spring Plants by Julie Murray. Okay, guys, it's rhythm stick with a twist time. Are you ready? This one's called tap. Are you ready? Tap, 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 tap your rhythm sticks. Tap, 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 tap your rhythm sticks. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your rhythm sticks. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your rhythm sticks. Cross, cross, tap. Cross, cross, tap your rhythm sticks. Cross, cross, tap. Cross, cross, tap your rhythm sticks. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your rhythm sticks. Tap, tap, tap. Tap your rhythm sticks. Great job, guys. When Spring Comes by Kevin Hanks. Before spring comes, the trees look like black sticks against the sky. But if you wait, spring will bring leaves and blossoms. If you wait, spring will make the leftover mounds of snow smaller and smaller and smaller until suddenly they're gone. Before spring comes, the grass is brown. But if you wait, spring will turn it green and add little flowers. If you wait, an egg will become a bird. A seed will start growing. Spring comes with sun, and it comes with rain, and more rain, and more rain. Do you like mud? Do you like puddles? I hope you like umbrellas. Before spring comes, the garden is just dirt and empty. But if you wait, spring will push green shoots through the dirt to fill up the garden. And spring will call out the pussy willows and new kittens too. Spring can come quickly or slowly. It changes its mind a lot. But when spring is finally here to stay, you will know it. There will be buds and bees and boots and balls. There will be worms and wings and wind and wheels. You will feel it. You will smell it. You will hear it. When spring is finally here to stay, you might think you are done waiting, but you are not. Now you have to wait for summer. <laughs> you have been listening to When Spring Comes by Kevin Hanks. All right, my friends, this one's called Five Spring Flowers, and we're going to use our hand. How many fingers? One, two, three, four, five. You ready? Five spring flowers all in a row. The first one said, we need rain to grow. The second one said, oh my, we need water. The third one said, yeah, it's getting hotter.
The fourth one said, I see clouds in the sky. The fifth one said, I wonder why. Then, boom, went the thunder and snap went the lightning. Boy, that springtime storm was really frightening. But the flowers weren't scared. No, no, no. The water helped them to grow, grow, grow. We're going to do it one more time. You ready? Five spring flowers all in a row. The first one said, we need rain to grow. The second one said, oh my, we need water. The third one said, yes, it's getting hotter. The fourth one said, I see clouds in the sky. The fifth one said, I wonder why? Then boom went the thunder and snap went the lightning. Boy, that springtime storm was really frightening. But the flowers weren't scared. No, no, no. The water helped them to grow, grow, grow. And their vegetable garden by Ruth Wylocks. Luke and Lottie are playing outside. Here it comes, Luke yells. He kicks the ball hard. The ball rolls far away. Luke and Lottie run after it. Look, Luke shouts. What a nice new sandbox. Lottie looks surprised. The sandbox is strange. The sand is so dark, but Luke is already playing. He's building a sandcastle. Suddenly they hear Dad. Luke, that's not a sandbox, he shouts. Then what is it, Lottie asks curiously. I built a vegetable garden for you, Dad says. Luke looks sad. I ruined our vegetable garden, he says. It's okay, consoles Dad. It was only dirt. I thought we could plant the vegetables together. Want to help? Yes, Luke and Lottie shout simultaneously. Dad, Luke, and Lottie go to the garden center. Mmm, it smells lovely in here, Lottie says. Should we get these flowers for Mom, Luke asks sweetly. Sure, Dad smiles. You can put them in the shopping cart. Look, Dad, an apple tree, Lottie says. You can grow all sorts of things in your garden, Dad explains. Vegetables, fruits, herbs, and even edible flowers. Luke looks a bit worried. Is Mom going to eat our flowers? No, Dad laughs. Not all flowers are edible. Here, you can choose plants, says Dad. He looks at the plant Lottie picks up. That's a lettuce plant. Oh, I like this one. It's a little baby lettuce, Lottie laughs. I like radishes, Luke says. Where are the radish plants? Radishes grow from seeds. You have to sow them, Dad explains. Look, here's a packet of radish seeds. When they get back home, Luke and Lottie get ready to garden. I put on coveralls, Luke says, and I put on my flower sweater, says Lottie. Dad has set out the wheelbarrow. In it are a rake, the plants, and vegetable seeds. Can you bring the watering can, Luke asks? I've got it, shouts Lottie. First, Lottie rakes the dirt. This is where I'll put the baby lettuce, she points. She makes holes in the soil with her finger. Then she puts a lettuce plant in each hole. Now you have to press the dirt against the lettuce plant to make it firm, Luke says. He does the same with a strawberry plant. You can scatter radish seeds over here, says Dad, just like you sprinkle sprinkles on a cupcake. Then we'll cover the seeds with dirt. Next, Lottie puts the empty seed packet on a stick like a hat, and she puts it in the right spot. That way they'll know which seeds were planted there. That's clever. Now we still have to press down the dirt, Lottie says wisely. Otherwise, the seeds will wash away when we water the vegetable garden. Then Luke says, I'm going to plant a candy tree. He puts a candy in the ground. A candy tree? That's not possible, Luke giggles Lottie. Lottie waters the vegetable garden. Luke is impatient. I still don't see anything, he says. Dad laughs. You'll have to wait a little longer, Luke. The plants need time to grow. You don't grow big in just one day, did you? I used to be a baby, Luke says, but now I'm big. And if I eat all our vegetables, I'll grow even bigger, this big. But first, clean your plate, laughs Mom. Enjoy. You have been listening to Luke and Lottie and their Vegetable Garden by Ruth Wylocks. Joining us for today's Little Explorer Seasons Edition, Spring Plants. We began our journey today with Spring Plants by Julie Murray, published by Abdo. Did you see anything you recognize? Maybe your family plants 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 in spring or vegetables or herbs or all sorts of cool stuff maybe you recognize some things that happen then we read when spring comes by kevin hanks 
published by HarperCollins. And we got to be outside and see how the trees and the leaves and all sorts of things change during spring. Maybe you're noticing some of those things outside in your yard during spring. Last, we read Luke and Lottie and Their Vegetable Garden by Ruth Wylocks, published by Clavix at Clavis. And we got to see all sorts of things that you can plant. Do you recognize anything that you and your family might plant? Do you plant tomatoes? Do you plant peppers? Do you plant strawberries? Maybe you plant something that Luke and Lottie plant. Thanks for joining us for today's Little Explorer Seasons Edition, Spring Plants. We'll see you soon.